What's going on YouTube? Hockey914 here, back with another video, and today people are going to be continuing our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. Uh, if you guys are excited, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, but in the last episode, we made our way here through Route 4. Oh geez, he's searching actively. Um, yeah, this is going to be a little bit shorter episode. I'm just trying to get another episode recorded before I ship out my capture card. Because um, I am shipping it out to get repaired. So I'm not going to be able to record for a little while, that's why I'm like frantically recording all these episodes because um, I want to make sure I have content for you for all of you guys for the next like week so that's the goal I know probably might not happen but we, a man can pray right a man can pray so not get away from this lily pub. Are you kidding me? There we go. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited to continue this play. I have a lot of, I really enjoy the second island so far. It's been a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Super potion. Uh. But yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been really entertaining, especially for me, um, because I'm just coming off of the let's play for Omega Ruby Nuzlocke and where it was like stressful. And like this is entertaining. This is just more me having fun than anything. So, we got Cook Ernie, and he's got a cutie fly. Wait, is he holding a spatula? Oh, he's holding a ladle. That's awesome. These trainer models are so good. I'm not gonna lie. So all of our moves are ground. They're not very effective. So we're just gonna bulldoze until he dies. I'm just wanna see how much it does first. Mudbray, his ability's kind of broken. <laughs> I mean, every time you get hit with a move, your defense goes up. And I heard that uh, I think Clydesdale, the the Clydesdale Mudsdale, has like insane defense. So he could get really, really hard to kill. Which is why, whenever I face a Mudbray or a, um, or a Mudsdale, I am just gonna go out to Poplio and I'm just gonna murder it. I'm gonna try to Oko it. Alright, one more should knock it out. And I think I might be able to outspeed. Oh yeah, I'm paralyzed. Never mind. Oh, we lived on seven. Defense went down. Stamina. Defense went up. Uh, uh. Did I knock it out? It lived on one. I swear he's got to be on one. So let's go ahead and heal up. And then we're going to do Pokemon Care after this battle so I can get rid of this paralysis, this annoying paralysis. But yeah, an attack boosted. Wait, does that move has a chance? Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently that has a chance to ri raise all of his stats. So, slap mud at him. Oh yeah, Silver Wind does. I thought he used Fairy Wind again. I'm like, what? Okay, slap mud at him, should knock him out. There we go. Get flies down. Good, good, good. 182, we're gonna do Pokemon Refresh. Alright, we defeated the Cook Ernie after 18 years. There we go. Now you get a little pets. Oh, that's the spot right there. And you get a little food, as always. I gotta take care of my friends, you know? Because I fight for my friends. Perfect. Alright, we did it. So now we're gonna carry on. 
Oh, I see a town up there, but I see a berry tree, which is more important. Agua berry. Figgy berry. Uh, and a figgy berry. Cool, cool, cool. So we got some berries. There's another patch of grass down here, and there's got to be an item in this corner. If there isn't... It's a picky pack. I should actually take a look and see if Mudbrake can learn anything that isn't. Oh, I'm dead. Just kidding, he ate that up. Can I get away? Yeah. I need to heal up Mudbrake. Oh, looking at my passport, apparently, or the QR scanner. Alright, bag. I'm gonna look at uh, getting him healed up here. Perfect. So we're gonna continue on coming down here. I told you there's a Pokeball. It's an energy root. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and head up here. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, this town's really pretty. Hello? I really like the look of this town. Hey, hey, glad it ran into you. So we can see you stronger now. My grandpa started good enough at my grand trial because he gave me a Z ring too. Having a battle in place feels like old fashioned Western showdown. <laughs> it's true, it does. But he's not going to let me heal first. All right, Pikachu and team, let's show this newbie what we got. Hello? Let's call this a newbie. He's talking shit. I'm gonna fuck him up. Come here. So Hala is, er, yeah, Hala is his grandpa? That's insane. We have the right Pokemon in front right now. Holy crap, how do you get so strong so quick? I'm still sitting at level 14 and this man's level 16. Oh, look at, if you look behind Pikachu, there's the, uh, those, like, things that float through the desert. That's really cool. Get body. Get about what you're doing. Alright. Brion's level 20. Why is Brion so strong? He's got a Tora cat. Oh, that thing looks so scary. He's probably gonna fuck me up. Watch. <gasps> ah! What does he got? I'm scared. Break rank blitz. All right, we can eat that up. Hit me with it. I'm gonna swallow that up, right, mud brain? Oh yeah, that was breakfast. Mmm. Now you're dead. You're dead. You're not living. You're not living. Oh yeah, you are. Do I heal up? Oh, speed fell. There's a chance that we might outspeed. Just kidding. He licked me? Uh-uh. He don't lick my brain without my permission. Uh, uh. Get about. Alright, Mudbray is turning into a monster. Took out a Torcat and a Pikachu. Let's go, Mudbray. Let's go. He wants to learn double kick. Of course I'll learn double kick. It'd be really cool if I had like a Fomantis, because then I could have both of them in on a double battle, and then just use Mudbray to just boost up EO what's his face. Man, that was some kind of battle. Our Pokemon all look like they had a blast too. Right then, here's a share a bit of good luck. He gives us items every time we beat him. Thank you. That chick and that Miltank was watching the entire time. I like surrounded by some power of aura. If you use your dire hit and land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You know, Pokemon Metal is just like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you're only a loser if you don't have any fun. He is speaking true words, people. You don't you only lose if you don't have fun. Okay, this chick was watching the entire time. They say back in the day there was nothing here, not even this town, the people of Tauros that Roman hordes. Okay, wow, we are gonna do some exploring, because this town looks dope. I love this town. You're up late, of course. Bing, bing, bing. All right, Mudbray, you killed it. 
I'm not gonna stock up because I think I'm still pretty good on items. Penella Ranch is up this way. It's pretty far through the Brooklet Hill. Apparently, folks have been riding on Tauros in the Alula regions since way back. I guess you understand how ride Pokemon is such every part of everyday life. If you clear Kawhi's Char, you ride the back of a real Charizard. Well, that's a good piece of information. So we we gotta beat that guy to do that. What a Magmars. This is a King Nappy's house right here. Like. Oh, Magmar, it does burn up just about everything. It's a real champ when it comes to controlling his flames, but sometimes you just want to eat something that's not charred to a crisp, right? Yes. That's what you get for having a freaking Magmar fam. Another Magmar? Damn. This chick loves her Magmars. Ah! <laughs> There's so many Magmars. This chick has five Magmars just chilling. Let's see. The rooms are empty. That's insane. It's got five magmars. Where do they all sleep? I like the hat on the cactus. It's really like country westernish. That house, Magmar City, right there. What do you want, old man? I can't even. I can't even talk to him. Okay, what do you want? Oh, look at the mud bray of yours. It weighs over 110 pounds. Okay, so. He said you should watch out for a move called Grass Knot. Okay. This chick is just riding. Alright, so I think we've done oh, enough exploring. I can't get up here. So let's go this way. Let's head back up to this little ranch up here. Everyone who works at the ranch loves the Pokemon battle. So I'm assuming that means I'm going to have to battle a whole bunch of people. That's a good experience because seeing that battle with Hal, I am, besides Brion, I'm kind of behind. So, down by Madame Elizabeth. Is that on a Carbink? I think Carbink's weak to ground, so that'll be good. That'll be really, really good. You can just body it real quick. Let's go. It's level 15? Oh, we're right on, we're right on, right on par. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, eat that. Oh, my brain, you're such an animal. If you get hit with a move like Fury Attack, does stamina activate as many times you get hit, or just once? <coughs> Ugh. Couldn't hit the mute button in time. I apologize. Um, we took out the carving. Beat this chicky here. I really love this game, to be honest. I haven't enjoyed a game this much in a long time. Rockruff's at level 16 too, holy crap. He's been keeping right up. Oh, she's so sweet. I haven't even been training him much because I got Mudsdale. I love Mudsdale. Can I go over here at all? No, okay. I'll probably, oh, there's a Zygarde cube. I want it. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, you got a trial goal. We got a good sense of time, and the captain's actually here right now, so come on. Can I go grab this Zygarde Cube? Man, I can't grab this Zygarde Cube. Moo, moo, moo. Look at. <laughs> Miltank is so cute. I love Miltank. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk from Pinoli, from Pio, Paniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy. We use white sauce and other things. Mmm. Whoa. Okay. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you, I'll do you a little favor. Nice. We got Stoutlin. Stoutlin can sniff out items that are buried in dirt where you can't see them. When you're riding Stoutlin, press the B button. That is all about. Try to get it. There's stuff lying around where you want to find it. Okay, so basically we got Stoutland, which I'm going to activate to the bottom. Oh, he actually goes a lot faster too. That's convenient. I'm sure there's got to be some items over here. So let's go ahead and just do a little bit of exploration.
Aha! That's actually super easy. It's just like the dowsing machine in Morris, that it just gets brighter when you get to an item. Your spooky beans you get cafes that are harvested Pokemon Pelago. Oh, is it right in his butt? Got a fresh water. Neat. Oh, there's another item. Let's get it. Got a moo moo milk. Oh, why are you leaving your milk in the corner? Why are you leaving your milk in the corner, you silly goose? Alright. I have Trumpy wake me up every morning at a set time, at least so I think. Truth is, neighbor alarm clock wakes me up every day. <laughs> oh. At least she doesn't tell that to him. Oh, few week I got in a trade won't hardly listen to a thing I say, all because I don't have many stamps from the kahunas. Alright, now let's go continue down here. Uh, there's a Zygarde cube around here, so let's go grab that Zygarde cube. We got two Zygarde cubes now. Woohoo! Oh, there's an item. It's right around here somewhere. Ah! Ah! I love his cry. It's like, Ree! it's like a dying horse, to be honest. I couldn't get away? I'm faster. Hello? Okay. All right, I'm a higher level and I'm the same Pokemon. I should be able to get away. All right, we got a Super Repel. Nice. Are you raising Pokemon? <laughs> no, but I'll battle you. Yo, his hand, Pokemon Breeder Glenn, Rip, Rip, Ripperino. I love how they have different Pokeballs. <laughs> like, it's the little subtle things that I really enjoy about this game. Like the, the little hay ball that was rolling in the background, and the, uh, let's go out into Rockruff. Um, and then, like, the, the Pokeballs that the trainers use, and the fact that they're standing behind their Pokemon, and... Oh god, it's gonna hurt. Why did I switch out to him? Yeah, he just got bodied. That was a really bad decision. Sorry, Rockruff. <laughs> that was just me being a bad trainer. Alright, let's go out and do Crab Brawler. Crab Brawler should be able to take him on. I'm gonna bubble the shit out of him. Ugh! da 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 Look, that's gonna be a three hit KO. He does not have stamina. He's got his other ability, which is like own tempo or something like that. I wonder if Brick Break would be better. Let's do it. Chop him up. Good thing I can't use electricity on a ground type. I'm glad he weakened a move that won't affect me at all. I won't affect him at all. Double kick, I'm dead. Just kidding. Crab Brawler's a monster. Ready? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of hurt because those big claws just like slap him right in the dome. Alright, he's a level 17. Let's go. Let's go. It's good. It's good. It's good. He wants to learn Bubble Beam. Hell yeah. Fuck Bubble. Alright. Yeah, Bubble Beam. Got Grubbin at level 17, Trump Beak at 18. Maybe in addition to providing care, raising means drawing out talents. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. So we're gonna head over this way. This whole route is just. Oh, I see Surubudos. I like that they bring that they've had a homage to every generation so far. Like first generation, they had the the Viridian. Vermilion City, whatever city that is, with the Machamp, and it was in Halua City. I really enjoyed that. And then this one, they have the Pseudo Wudo, which is homage to the second gen. Damn, my Mudbrain must have a s minus slow defense, minus speed, because he's slow as hell. Should be able to get away from another Mudbrain, but apparently he can't. Oh, oh, you probably want to battle on me. Let's go in this house. Can I just keep writing my Stoutland in someone's house? Oh, this is a Pokemon breeder thing. 
You want to awaken your hidden powers? Hey, we got hidden powers. Nice. Hidden power changes type. Somehow I can tell it move. If you like, check. I want to see what it would be for Rock Rough. Because if you can get something good, I'll teach it to him. It'd be grass. Eh, not very good. What do you got? I heard if you find Pokemon eggs more quickly if you leave two Pokemon of the same species and if they have different trainer OTs. We got nurseries, but all we do is hold on to your Pokemon. We don't want them to get stronger or learn any moves, but I guess we'd be easier on your wallet. And here's something else. If you have two Pokemon together, sometimes I'm finding an egg. So we, since we're talking about it, do you know? Yay, we got an egg. That's cool. I know what it is. I know what the egg is because everybody talks about it. So I'm just going to send it to the box because I'm not going to use the Pokemon that's in it. Um, if you guys don't know and you guys want to know, it's an Eevee. So... I wonder what it's like if somebody accidentally dropped an egg. That'd be insane. Look, a car in the middle of a ranch with a Pokemon behind it. Yes, we got an amulet coin. We need money so bad. Hold on. All right, I gave Mudbray the uh, amulet coin. All right, let's go battle. Let's go. Let's go battle this chicky over here, and then we'll probably end off today's episode. Um, I don't want to get too far, obviously. I see on my map there's this big thing to the right, and I wonder what it is. I'm really curious. <laughs> hey! What's up, Pokemon Breeder Amanda? What's going on? You got a lily pup? It's about to get destroyed. I'm gonna double kick you right in the jaw. I'm gonna eat that up. And I'm getting my defense boost. Thank you. I'm like, oh, he flinched. Ugh, I can't double kick him in the mouth. I wonder when we learn his special move. That one that has like the, um, oh yeah, you're gone. Get out of here. It's like the, where do you kick him or something? I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but I know I've seen it. It comes like a, like when he uses it, like a hoof comes out pretty much. Alright, he's got Growlithe. Can pop this Growlithe real quick. He's got Intimidate. Oh. But yeah, so I'm really excited because I don't, I think he evolves around like level 30 or something. 32 maybe. I don't know. I know he evolves a little bit later. Um. But Mudbray seems to be doing just fine by himself, so... Hopefully when these Pokemon start evolving, he can keep up. Um, I don't want to have to put him in the back burner until he evolves, you know what I mean? Whoa, her face is like, what? Okay. Yeah, if you look on the little Rotom map thing, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like right off to the right, there's something that's big. And I want to know what it is. But there is a pseudo Wudo Bach in the path, so I can now go... These sort of wheels seem kind of down ever since Lana beat them and they're just blocking the path. <laughs> so basically, that's telling us don't go that way, go this way. Uh. What? Dude, that, that was insane. How he caught me, I don't know. That's That baffles me. Gentleman Gerald. He's got meganiums on his shirt. His shirt is so cool. It's like a Hawaiian shirt, but it just has pictures of meganiums. He's got a Sableye? Okay, we can handle that. There's two of these should knock him out. Yep. Nightshade, that's going to do exactly 16 damage, I think. Level 16. Good thing that isn't going to help. Or 15. It does exactly 15 damage. But another bulldoze will take him... Aw, oh, you little snot. Oh, I like that! It does a little sing when you use protect and you hit it. Instead of just like being like, oh, it protected itself. 
actually has a little animation. That's so cool. Again, it's the little things that are making this game better than all the rest. Than all of its predecessors. Uh, wants to learn to stomp? Yeah, let's learn to stomp. Sorry, Rototiller. You're kind of, you're a good move in a specific situation, but in general, not really. So, Gerald, you're you're growing rapidly. That's wonderful. Hello, you don't even know me, man. I didn't even see how much money I got either. End of row, that's where Captain Lana does the trial. I'm one of the trial guides to help young trial goers and my sick view is test how strong and become. Let me see if we can beat all the trainers on row five for starters. Okay, so we're gonna end off today's episode here. In the next episode, we're gonna go Really Ugh. Okay. We're gonna take these people on and then we're gonna end off today's episode. Twins, Isa and Nico. Happy and Iggly Buff. Come on, you're gonna put me with this? Ugh. This is gonna be an Oko. This is gonna be an Oko. Double kick, the Iggly Buff. Brick break, the happening. And it should be game. Yep, that's down. And that's the one I was concerned about living. Alright, now you're gonna use double kick. Ugh. It's not gonna kill? Oh my lord, Mudbray. It's an Iggly buff. Oh man, that's gonna do so much damage. Bubble beam! I'm gonna bubble beam it. Ow! That looks like it hurts. Alright, so we took out Iggly buff. Now we're gonna adopt.